Hello YouTube, today I'm, I'm going to be showing you the latest 4.1.1 Jelly Bean ROM for the Asus Transformer Prime TF201. So let's take a look at it. Alright, so the first thing you see here is what looks like your traditional ice cream sandwich, except for the little weather up here, a little weather widget, and the screen's going to keep turning off every 10 seconds until I unlock it, so I'm going to try and do this fast. Alright, so you notice that you have five unlock options here. Camera, unlock, Google Voice, Play Store, Browser. These three are always on Jelly Bean. As the Play Store and Browser are added on there with help of the mod. Okay, so just like Ice Cream Sandwich, it's got five home screens. I'm sure you expected that. And take a look into the settings real quick and immediately you'll notice that there are some extra options here called interface you have launcher lock screen themes and system those are actually there from the mod uh, lock screen and themes are jelly bean I mean lock screen and system are jelly bean but themes and launcher are part of the mod like yeah that, okay and then you'll notice that this is basically just like ice cream sandwich and then when you get down here to the bottom in system you'll notice that there are there's a performance mode and you don't have the like when you get down here and you tap that it doesn't have the power saving balanced or high performance mode like ice cream sandwich did it is all done right here in the settings so basically it's um it'll do it for you automatically which you may or may not like and you can set the maximum CPU I have it at 1600 and then the minimum you can also set what your processor settings are in boot but the main thing to managing your processor is the CPU governor which is right here and that brings up six different kinds of profiles for your CPU if I, if I go down here to performance it turns it up to 1300 and if I leave it on interactive because performance will keep it at 1300 straight. Okay, right now I have it on interactive. I'm just going to cancel out of that. And to show you that I'm actually running Jelly Bean, right there, Android 4.1.1, and I'm using that one right there, and that's the number. And another thing that you can do with this mod is here in themes, you can actually pick what theme you want. I have a couple themes on here, like outline that turns everything black and white, and then I have holo orange that turns everything orange, and I have holo green. And that basically will turn like if you, I'll just show you, holo green, and I'm just going to click apply, I press apply. And it's going to switch everything to green. Like, see, this is green. And if I press this, it'll crash. Just, but it crashes not because it can't do it. It crashes because it's got to reset the system bar down here. Like, it'll come back up in a second and it'll be green. So, see, everything here is green. That's green. If I select stuff, it's green. It's all green. Green, green, green. Like, see, you know, my clock is green. Close out of that. My settings are green. These are green down here. Everything's everything that's to do with the system is now green. Just open that back and I'm gonna revert back to system because I like blue better. Alright, sounds back to system. It's gonna crash real quick. And even the highlight is green there. Alright, so I'm just gonna wait for that to come back up. Okay, and another thing I wanted to show you here was the notifications. This is a, quite different than Ice Cream Sandwich. The time, Wi-Fi, battery, and it shows the... Sorry, I'm trying to point this junk out. And it shows the date. And if you click this little thing right here, 
that does not take you to settings like I thought it would when I first used Jelly Bean. Instead, it opens all this other stuff like airplane mode and auto screen rotate, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and then your brightness and your notifications you can turn on and off. And then this settings will take you to settings. And then that collapses it back down to this. And when you have notifications, you can just swipe them on and off like you normally could. And there will be a little button up here. To pr you press it and it collapses them all. Okay, so that was the notification pan. And then we'll go back up to the, app, to the apps. And this, ice cream sandwich, just like it. And... One thing that does not work with this mod, if you have a Transformer Prime with a keyboard dock, the keyboard dock, last time I checked, uh, the keyboard dock would, it would work, except that there would be no battery monitoring. It would not monitor the keyboard's battery. Like, see here, this battery widget tells me that I'm charging. But with the keyboard dock, it would tell me that I was charging, but it would not tell me what the keyboard's battery was. Which, other than that, you could still use the keyboard, and the trackpad had some uh, functionality issues as well. Like, you could turn it off, but as soon as you touched it, it would turn back on. And with this mod, YouTube is also a little messed up. Like, see, on Ice Cream Sandwich, it had four rows, and now it's only got two. It just it still shows the same amount, because you can still scroll, you just scroll a lot longer. But if you turn it on its side, then it shows four rows, like it should, like it used to. I don't know why, just how it works. And of course, another thing is this email widget. Before it just had the little clear widget, and it would just say one, two, three emails or whatever. But here it actually, you're going to have a widget that lists your inbox for you. And the weather widget sucks. I download a different weather widget. Weather widget. And oh yeah, the camera. Let me show you that. Oh, you won't be able to see anything. So here we are. This is the camera. And say, for instance, you took a picture. And before an ice cream sandwich, it would show up right here, and you'd press it, and it'd take you to the gallery. Well, now if you take a picture, you just swipe over to the gallery, just like that. Let's go back to another picture. Up, oh, took it. Just swipe back over to the gallery. And then another cool thing about the gallery is you can pinch out and zoom. You can scroll through all your pictures just like that. Just like that. Those are some nice knives, okay. And let's go to the let's go to the home screen again real quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys Google Voice. It's a lot like Siri, just it's not as smart, it doesn't pick up your voices. Your voice as well. What's the weather like? It's eighty four degrees. See she brought up the weather and she brought up the temperature, forecast, it's currently raining. And not only did she bring up that little box, but she also brought up search results. So yeah, like you said, like I said, it's a lot like Siri, but um, it's, it's not as smart, and she doesn't pick up your voice as much, uh, or as well, I should say. What is five plus five? The answer is ten. Yeah, see there she did. Five plus five is equal to ten. Yada yada yada. Okay. Cheapest place to buy gas. See, cheapest place to buy gas, and she came up with all these search results. So it's somewhat helpful. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done on it. Let's take it back to my home screen here. Still a lot of work to be done on Google Voice, but it is helpful. It's better than what they had before. Uh, but Siri definitely uh, owns it to the highest degree. And that is basically Jelly Bean. Um, I would want to caution people who have the stock ice cream sandwich on from Mesa still. That if you upgrade, you lose Polaris Office and you lose your file manager. So I'm stuck with this ghetto file manager that I downloaded from Google Play. And I have to use Kingsoft Office now. Which And one more thing I want to show you guys before I bring this video to a close is this DSP manager. 
It basically allows you to adjust your audio levels in case your external speaker or headphones are not loud enough for you. Um, like up here you got Bluetooth settings, speaker settings, headset settings. Um, I haven't used it because I don't need it. But I guess if those of you who don't like the, who think your tablets, your transformer prime is too quiet, then that allows you to change it up, make it louder. And another thing I want to show you is if you're on something, you can take it straight to Google Voice. It actually doesn't take you to Google Voice itself. It takes you to a card. I forgot what it's called. It's like it pops up cards. Like say you're searching for the closest Apple store to you, uh, it'll pop up a card that gives you the address, how far away it is, and if you press it, it'll take you to navigation, give you directions, and all that cool stuff. So that's another uh, nice feature to Google Voice. But um, basically, this is Jelly Bean. It's a lot like ice cream sandwich with enhancements. Basically, ice cream sandwich improved is a good way to put it. And the browser and Google Play haven't changed at all. They're the same, to my knowledge. So yeah, that's Jelly Bean. If there's anything I didn't cover, let me know, because I'm sure I'll remember five things after this video. But, um, yeah, if I didn't cover anything, just let me know, and I'll be glad to review that, too. So, thank you for watching, and I hope I helped shape your opinion on Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean.